Between 2001 and 2011, over 4,700 changes were made to the U.S. tax code. That's an average of more than one per day. The United States' Internal Revenue Code is an extraordinarily lengthy and complex body of law. But exactly how complicated is it? Well, it's estimated that there are over 4 million words in our tax code. That means that our tax code is over five times the length of the Bible, over seven times the length of War and Peace, and over four times the length of the entire Harry Potter book series. This sounds like a problem. This sounds too complicated. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the effects of this complexity, the compliance burden it places on the taxpayer, the inability it creates for a taxpayer to truly understand his tax liability, the opportunity it creates for a sophisticated taxpayer to circumvent the law, and the overwhelming burden it places on the IRS. First, let's talk about compliance burdens. In a single year, taxpayers usually spend about 6.1 billion hours in compliance time and spend about $168 billion in compliance costs. And that's due in large part to the fact that most people can't do their own tax returns. About 60% of Americans have to hire a tax accountant to do them for them, and about 30% have to at least purchase a tax software. And that leads me to my second point. The idea that most Americans don't know what they're paying in taxes or why. And this should be a huge problem for the American government. Because obscured comprehension leads to mistrust in the system. It creates the impression that not everyone is doing their fair share. And that lessens the incentive for an honest taxpayer to want to pay their taxes. Because who wants to feel like they're paying their taxes when nobody else is? In fact, in a 2010 poll, only 12% of Americans said that they thought that everyone was paying their fair share in taxes. And in large part, that's due to the fact that over 70% of those responders also said that they believed that wealthy Americans had methods of reducing their taxes that weren't available to the average American taxpayer. And for the most part, that's true. The complexity of our tax code allows for legitimate loopholes that allows for sophisticated taxpayers or taxpayers wealthy enough to hire sophisticated tax accountants to lessen their tax liabilities. And this brings me to my final point, the overwhelming burden placed on the IRS. While the agency itself employs over 90,000 full-time workers, in a single year, it usually receives over 115 million phone calls with questions from taxpayers. And what does this mean? It means that the agency in charge of governing and policing our tax code can't possibly be effective. So what do we do? What's our solution? Simply put, Simplification. But how do we go about simplifying? We need to start reducing some of those 4 million words. My suggestion is an approach similar to a zero-based budgeting approach. That you take each exemption, deduction, and special rule and look at them individually and assess whether the benefit they add to the taxpayer outweighs the complexity it adds back into the tax code. Because what's our goal? Our goal is to reduce the time and money spent on tax return preparation. We also want to reduce the likelihood that not everyone is paying their fair share. And most importantly, we want the average American to be able to file his or her own tax return.